guys welcome back to my channel thanks for stopping by my name is Christina today I've got some beautiful dresses and the same company happened to send me some again uh, today's uh, video is sponsored by blooming jelly if you're familiar uh, with my channel of course you know if you watch my previous videos I've been doing um, you know clothing review from this company if you cannot wait to see what dresses I got please keep on watching first item is a dark blue flower print wrap style blouse the material is polyester this style makes it very comfortable to wear and airy especially during summer and it will be very suitable to wear during summer evening outing there are two ways of wearing this one you may let the sleeves down and two have it roll up just like I do The front part is elastic while the back part is loose. I'm wearing size small and the sizing is spot on. Next, round neck split shoulders tie sleeves dress. An elegant casual dress guys. This material is chiffon, lightweight and flowy. I love the colors. This dress is a little tiny bit sheer. Just to let you know, even though it has liner underneath, you might have to wear additional liner skirt or a dark short for extra coverage. If you want little curves on the dress, you could wear accessories belt like I do. Back zip, not elastic at all. I'm wearing size small and length of the dress falls just right above my knee. Alright, here I have a line v-neck mini dress. The material for this dress is polyester. The neckline is very low as you can see. The color is navy blue. If you're wondering if the waist is elastic or not, yes, it absolutely is. No zip. I'm wearing size small and it fits perfectly. Okay, moving on to the next dress. I have a backless crisscross maxi dress. So this one, you could wear it as a maxi dress itself or as a cover-up. To me, the high slits on either side of the dress kind of serving the purpose of a cover-up. The material is cotton blend. Are the straps adjustable? Yes, they are. This dress has no lining as the material isn't sheer. However, if you plan to wear it as a maxi dress, I would suggest you to wear a spandex short underneath to avoid having a slits accidentally revealed too much. The length of the dress is a little too long for me, therefore I will have to bring it in to have it hem and I'm wearing size small. Okay, next dress, I have a mermaid vintage ruffle dress. So apparently the 50 style is back. But as much as I want to love this dress, it is too big for me. Obviously, there are loose part on the waist and on the armpit area. The material is polyester, no zip, and I'm wearing size small. If you are a medium, you would probably want to size down. Finally, we come to the last item on the list for today. Here I have floral halter neck maxi dress. This is by far my most favorite dress from Booming Jelly. I'm wearing size small. The body's part material is cotton while the skirt is a splash chiffon. It comes with a sash. Now you could wear the sash the way I'm wearing it or you could have it tied on the back. Either one, it works just fine. It also has a liner. There are three ways for sure for you to wear the dress. One as a halter v-neck dress, two as a wrap around halter neck dress, three as a skirt. Now on their Amazon website, you could wear it as an off-shoulder dress. However, I'm not sure it could work. It didn't work on me, but you could try. I will put the link on ways to wear the dress down below as well. That's all it is for the clothing review today for Blooming Jelly. If you are interested to look around or even buy some of the items shown today, I'll be putting the links in the description box for you. Uh, thanks for watching you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.